No P, just living life as a teen. A teen. Go downstairs, switching on the TV. TV. Got a tin of beans, got rips in jeans. That's me. That's me. Shout out to my man, I'd stand with the good grades. I've known him since school days. Sparky carpet, yeah, he got two trades. Works in a bar on Tuesdays. What would this great sport be without Derby passion? Two teams who know plenty about each other, but aren't very fond of each other. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Here we are, not too far from where the ferries come over from the European side of the Bosphorus. This is the Asian side, the home of Fenerbahce. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And we're very much looking forward to bringing you league action today. It's Fenerbahce facing Galatasaray. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And here's the Fenerbahce lineup. Well, as you can see, they're playing with a diamond in midfield, which allows them to dominate the central area, but does leave them exposed out wide. And the starting 11 for Galatasaray. Well, they're playing with two strikers. One will look to stretch the pitch by making forward runs. The other will look to get on the ball and make things happen. But it's still important that they work as a pair. And they kick off here. Icardi. Very quick thinking there. Mihad Zaitz. Well, as you can see, when it comes to the hosts, they certainly know a thing or two about scoring goals. In fact, Stuart, they have the most potent attack in the league. Well, their forwards should be full of confidence. They've been in fantastic form of late, and it bodes well for the neutrals today. Hopefully, we're in for an entertaining match. Well, warned by the referee, but not cautioned. Yeah, and I think he's got that absolutely right. You don't want to be throwing cards about left, right and centre. Oh, that's a really good run. Terrific block. Tremendous ball played through. Mauro Icardi here. Can he put them ahead? There's still danger here. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Attila Salai. Irfan Chan Kavechi. Well, a textbook interception. It has to be! Well, not too far away at all, but getting underneath it ever so slightly.
Now, will the keeper have to pay the price for that mistake? Takes the shot. Oh, it's in! The opening goal of the derby. And listen to what it means. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. is moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be well he's given us away Sergio Oliveira here's Icardi It's with Joao Pedro. Making progress. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, fine stop. going for the short one and the cross not quite imaginative enough that'll be a Fenerbahce ball King splendid defending and it needed to be Mertens Agun and he did well to cut it out William Arau. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Played over, still not clear, and a super header. It looked as though it might be going in. Well, they know they need to stop him. He must finish! And with that, the first half draws to a close. So back underway here into the second half. Oliveira. And a body in the way. Well, that'll be a corner. A goal here would really change the complexion of this match. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. It's a short one. 
And another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Now sending it in. Joao Pedro. Irfan Chan Cavecci. Well, spot on with that challenge. Good technique displayed. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And space for them here on the flank. The defender doing his job. And the referee has awarded a corner following that touch. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. It's a short corner. King. Well, dealt with that ball comfortably. It did look on for them, but not to be. Sergio Oliveira. Rashica. Mauro Icardi here. Galatasaray couldn't keep it. all day long Mertens well that's a really good authoritative tackle throw in here there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches Torreira, Mertens, now with Seferovic, and intercepts again. Joao Pedro, and the counter looks on here, options available. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And we've entered the final five minutes. On the ball in an attacking position. But they, and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Delivering it. Fantastic effort. He made great contact, but the keeper more than equal to it. And the flag is up. Offside. Well, that's just a lack of awareness. He was clearly in an offside position. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, it was very competitive. Chances at both ends, but I feel they were the better team, and they deserve their victory.